Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you guys through my creative process with Milanote. I'm going to be showing you guys how I start a UI UX design, and I'm going to go through from the beginning right up until I design with you guys and how I stay organized and utilize Milanote in my creative process. Now, before we get into today's video, Milanote is sponsoring this video. They reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked me if I was interested in sharing Milanote with you guys, and I wanted to take a few weeks to learn it, and ever since then, I've incorporated it into my work workflow and I think it'll benefit you guys as well so that's why I'm making today's video so let's go ahead and get started if you guys are interested in trying out Milanote for free there is a link down in the description it'll be at the top of the description you can sign up for free there is a pro version if you're interested in upgrading I've already created my account so I'm gonna go ahead and log in so this is what Milanote looks like. I have stuff already in here since I've used it previously. You can see that I've already started to plan out some of my YouTube stuff, such as my upload schedule. This is actually the video we're working on right now. So I'll check that off when we're done. So it has other uses than just planning design projects, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm just gonna drag out a board and I'm gonna call this music app. So this is the project that I want to show you guys as an example. So I'm going to click on this and you'll notice since I have music app in here, it's recognizing what I've put and it's suggesting an icon for me. Let's go ahead and select music and then let's grab a music related icon. And I'm also going to change this color to something I haven't previously used. And we'll just drag that over here into the design projects column. So Milanote works with boards. So if I double click on a board, you'll see that I have the same infinite canvas and I can drag out everything that I could have before. And you'll see up here at the top, we have this breadcrumb system so I can go back to home if I would like. So in my music app, the way I like to start off my design projects is I like to start planning my ideas. So I'll drag out a note or I'll just double click to start typing. So when I start typing, the first thing I wanna think about is about the project. So why am I doing the project and what is the overall goal? In this project, it is to explore music player interfaces and see if we can simplify them and just overall test out some UX things and see what works and what doesn't. So now that I've got some basic ideas down, Milanote allows me to keep things a little bit more organized than this. So now I can group these into columns. I'm gonna select both of them and group into a column and we'll just call this about the project. We'll just drag that up here out of the way. Now that I've established what I'm working on, let's create a to-do list. So I'm gonna drag that in into my column. And here I'll start listing out things that I need to do in order to keep things organized and progress in the project. So Milanote allows you to add a title if necessary to the to-do list. So I've called it tasks and we have create a mood board, sketch out some screens, research other music players, kind of doing market research there. Uh, I'm gonna need to find some image assets for the projects, select some fonts, colors, and then I overall just need to establish the goals of the project. So I'll probably create a board for that. And then I might need to create a user flow. Now, as I work, I can simply check these off or add and remove them as needed. So now that I have my tasks, I can start to work on them. So I'm gonna grab another column and we're gonna call this one inspiration. I'm gonna drag a board into this column and I'm gonna call it mood board. So let's go ahead and open up mood board and I have the Chrome extension installed. So now I can head over to dribble and here on dribble, I can just select a shot that I like and I'm finding some inspiration from right click, save to Milanote. And then here I can choose the board I want. So my mood board was this yellow one with the brain icon and then just save to mood board. Now I can go through and do this on Behance and on dribble and just find a lot of inspiration and just start collecting my mood board images. So once I'm done finding my images, when you head over to your mood board, you'll notice that in the unsorted, we'll have all of your saved images. So I can just start to drag these into my board and just kind of plan these out the way I want them to look. Now I can also drag images in from other places. So if I want to drag something in from my desktop, I can just drag and drop that in. And now I have my screenshot of Spotify. So now that I have all of my images here, I'm just gonna drag these off the side for a second. I really like how these two are nice and simple. They don't have too many elements like some of the other ones. I'm gonna group these together in a column and just call these clean. It's gonna drag in a note real quick and just add that above here. Just add a bit of text for description. You can also select images and add captions. I'm just gonna drag this column over here to the side. Also gonna put my Spotify example next to that. And let's just drag these back over here. I like how this one shows an example of the kind of record down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna add a caption of that. 
And lastly, I'm going to add a quick note next to these icons. And I'm going to try using these outline icons. One thing that a lot of these have in common is they kind of look like CDs or records. So I'm going to try to stay away from that. So for now, I'm good with this mood board and how it looks. So while I was coming up with my mood board images, I had some ideas. So I'm gonna drag out that Spotify image again from my desktop and let's just place it somewhere like this. And the number one thing that I liked was the icons they have down here. Once I have that note, I'm just gonna drag a line onto my image. I'm gonna to point to the play button and just link it to this. Also, let's change the color to red. The next thing I wanted to make a note is I want to try using full screen artwork. So I'm going to double click. And we'll just drag another arrow and I'll point to the orange and then link it to this and change it to red. Another thing you'll notice is when I start to drag this around, the arrow will automatically adjust to keep pointing to the same location. So now we've completed creating a mood board and I've also done a little bit of research on music player apps. So around here, I would begin to sketch. So I'm actually gonna grab all of this and then just kind of move it down and out of the way just a little bit. And let's create a new column. And I'm gonna call this one design. I'm gonna grab a new board and just call this sketches. Once I'm done sketching a bunch of my screens, I'll export them as images and I'll just drag them in and drop them in here. And I'm gonna double click. I'm just gonna call this one play screen. We'll just put that above, hold alt, and let's create another one. And the next one is gonna be play screen full. And I'll just continue to import all of my screens. So while I was sketching, I was thinking about the functionality of the app a little bit, as you can see with some of the arrows and what they're actually doing. So I'm gonna actually go back to the music app and I'm gonna grab this and hit Command D to duplicate it. And then I'm gonna rename this to user flow. Let's also change this to a better icon. So now inside of user flow, I'm gonna to start to build this out a little bit better into a user flow. So first off, I'm just gonna shrink these images cause they're a little too big. So my first screen is gonna go up here in the corner and then I'll go to this screen. And from here, I'm gonna connect these with an arrow. So I'll just drag that one to this image and then one to this one. To make this stand out, we'll go with some like blue and let's add a note, swipe. Up. That's possibly what we're going to be doing for this. And let's just put this in a better position. So like right there. So I'm just going to keep moving these images around and come up with the possible user flow for how this app's going to work. So this can change as I'm designing. So I'm just not going over complicated with anything. I'm making it nice and simple. So if I need to make a change, it's not going to be extremely difficult. I'm just making a clear label of what's happening, a double tap or a swipe up and then pointing to the next screen until I finish creating my basic user flow. Also, Milano allows us to make these lines curved. So if you don't want your arrows just perfectly straight, you can just click on it. There's a little dot in the center of the line and you just drag that around and it can adjust the curve of your arrow. So that is creating the user flow so I can check off that task. So before I start designing my wireframes in Adobe XD, I just need to finally check and make sure all my tasks are completed that I need to get done before I start. So I've sketched out the screens. I forgot to check that one off. Find image assets for the project. That one will be later on after I've already created my wireframes. Same thing with selecting the font and the colors. And so the last one I just need to do is establish the project goal. So I'm just gonna go up here and hit command return. That'll give me a new note. And so now that I've entered that, let's add a quick little heading to that. I'll just call it goal. Select that and choose heading. So now I've done enough planning where I'm comfortable going into Adobe XD and starting to create some wireframes. And then I'll edit this as I go through the wireframe process into the overall finished design. 
So from here, if I wanted to, I can invite my client to view this or I can even invite my team to work on it with me. You go up here to invite your team and you have three options. The first one, they have editable rights. The second one, they can view and leave comments only. And then the final one, they can just view it. You can also send them a secret link or if you need to export something for any reason, like sending them an image of your mood board, you can do that here. Once you've invited your team, they can go ahead and start leaving comments. So for example, they can just drag out a comment. If they want to mention you, that you can say at and then your username. And you can say something like, I forgot to add the title for my music and the artist name, so I can post that. And now everyone on the team knows, and so they can change these and update these as needed. Another really cool thing that Millinote has is they have power-ups on certain things. So if I click on this text, I can go over here and select power-ups and they allow me to convert this to a long form. If you have a lot of text, you can add a description to this and that just adds a new little line there with a separator. Or you can just make this transparent, which I didn't do in this video, but I do quite a bit in some of my projects. Another great thing that you can do is upload files. So if you wanted to, you could have a board for each iteration of your design and your team could then download them and have like the backups here and everyone can share in this interface as well. And lastly, if you're like me and at first when you started using Milanote, it didn't look this nice, you can start off using some templates. They have a lot of great ones. A creative brief is a really good one. You can double click on them and you can see all the stuff that they have in here. And if you want to start using this, you can hit clear example content and then you can go from here. So that is it for today's video. That is the first half of my creative process before I start designing using Milanote. Again, thanks to Milanote for sponsoring this video. There will be a link down in the description if you want to sign up for free and they also have a pro version available. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe for more design and code related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.